Hello, my beautiful, beautiful signs. Mm, my Pisces, my Gemini, my Virgo, my Sagittarius. Welcome. So today I have for you some what to expect messages or some for things to come. I have some soul journey messages for your lessons that you should be learning right now within this time frame. And also have some raise your vibration messages just to help you raise your energy up for, you know, the better. A lot of good positivity in the air at all times. So we're going to move forward with seeing what it is that you have to come your way. I have my Virgo, my Pisces, my Gemini, my Sagittarius. Mm. shit coming in real good on um, god spirit is saying you will be taken care of in difficult times it's like things may seem out of order right now but it's just so the good things can flow into um space like they need to and i feel like the month of june is very significant for a lot of you for a lot of you this could be in reference to my june gemini's this could also just be in reference to things getting better for you in that season and a lot of things uh, picking up and changing and transforming for you as well Whew. okay i do see here where you could potentially have some forces that are working against you um but what i feel like these forces are they're not just necessarily enemies only it's you versus yourself when it comes down to letting go of what is no longer serving you okay So it's like, don't be the fork in the road that's causing you a delay, is what I'm hearing. Now, do you have enemies who is preying on your downfall? In all honesty, yes, yes, you do. However, spirit got you covered. You don't have to worry about that. So the, the main blockage that is your concern in this season is yourself, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius. You is your only concern. It's me versus me when it comes down to y'all and what you building and what you're bringing into fruition for yourself, okay? Now, there is a loved one for you who could have potentially passed away within the month of June. I'm feeling like this person is, um, this is, a, a, I feel like a, a what? A sibling, it's a sister. Um, this is a, a sister or an auntie that passed away in the month of June. They're coming through to help you and guide you along the way. I'm also seeing where you could be dreaming of this individual and they're just trying to come in and warn you of self-doubt and to stop placing self-limiting beliefs upon yourself and to know that you can be whatever it is that you want to be and nothing is too far out of reach. I keep hearing, I know I can. No, I can't be what I want to be. Be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, if I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. I'll be where I want to be. Be, be. That song goes so hard. Y'all y'all remember that song? Uh, was it Nas, I think? Um, so, yeah. This, this, these, the, yo, your sister, your auntie, your loved one, baby, is coming through to help reassure you, to help reaffirm you, and to breathe life into you and to give you that extra booth and to support you um from the spiritual side as well now also i feel like a lot of things could have been going to the left within a lot of family affairs have been having some of you could be going through a divorce right now some of you are dealing with things with your children and a lot of these things are about to smooth out i also feel like you're bringing in new children i heard pregnancy 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 so someone could be expecting and you could be delivering fairly soon within the next three to four months or by august none the latest okay um so congratulations to you here with that. Now, so you're just showing me where your spiritual enlightenment has whew, skyrocketed through the roof. You are seeing things in different ways that you haven't before. And it's helping you to reevaluate yourself overall. You're gaining more awareness of what it is that you need to heal and work on. You're gaining awareness of where it is that you want to go. And you're also what is it developing this this keen understanding of 
what it is to feel whole at all times and safe and sacred within yourself. I feel like a change for a better has been hitting you left and right. Um, some of you have been turning down the option to turn up so that you can turn up in other areas, meaning you put down the liquor and you picked up the book. And I'm not saying you can't have balance with the two, but for a lot of you, you feel like you've just been letting your life wander and you've just been having more fun than you have been pouring into your dreams and your goals and you're making a conscious choice to switch towards what's really better for you so it's literally a change for a better that's 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 transforming for a lot of y'all you're going from your caterpillar stage to what is it the metamorphic stage when they in the cocoon and now you you finna um, emerge as a beautiful butterfly and you finna start on this new phase within your journey you're just simply leveling up i feel like a lot of you could be younger um possibly just now turning 26 for a few of you and the rest of you even though you are a little bit older um 30 ish 33 and possibly 50 60 ish you are stepping into the next phase of possibly your Saturn return and that's where a lot of your changes is coming in it's just helping you to realize what you need to keep and what you need to release what you need to heal and where you need to build but overall, back to the beginning of it all, when I said money, 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 y'all do have a lot of money coming in. I mean, a lot of money. So if you are a business owner, I can say be prepared to be booked and busy. If you've been waiting on your taxes and they haven't hit, I can say prepare to receive your taxes. I'm also seeing where investments are being approved. I'm also seeing where your credit score is increasing. I'm just seeing also where some of you is receiving a refund from your school as well. A lot of you overpaid on some things and you're about to get that back. I'm also hearing a rebate check. I'm also hearing um, approved to get paid for your content you possibly get paid for your content across all boards now baby you just got money coming in in all ways in any type of way it's like unexpected it's a lot of promotions that's coming it's like all the hard work that you've been putting in that you've been like okay when i'm gonna get mine now now you're gonna receive all the recognition all the rewards everything for your your good merit and your time spent dedicated to completing certain goals all of it is coming in so if you've been worried about how something is going to work out for you, you need not just trust the fact that the divine is helping clear out karmic debt so that you can receive your pay in full. So we're going to move forward with some soul journey messages to see what lessons we have for my Pisces, my Gemini, my Virgo, my Sagittarius. Worry. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no worries today. <laughs> it means no worries for the rest of your day. It's a problem free philosophy. Hey, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> so, Spirit is definitely calling out for you to not worry. Your card here says that I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It don't change nothing. If anything, it pushes you to this dark place and all the negative energy in the world. And it just brings you down and it makes you feel like you can't even get out of bed and brush your teeth or comb your hair or even take a sip of water sometimes. What is you worrying about? Things that are out of your control. There is no need to worry. We can't. If we, Lord, give me. Spirit, give me the words. Give me the words for them because y'all are some worry warriors sometimes and you, you don't need to worry about shit. Heavy on the Virgo and the Gemini with the worrying. Pisces overthink, but Virgo, you worry the fuck out yourself sometimes. Sagittarius, you too here and there, but you know what I'm saying? All y'all, y'all worry and there's no need for you to worry about a thing that's already been taken care of. You have to learn to step into certain situations, whether they are uncomfortable or not, whether it's going in a good direction or not, and not worry about what's going to happen and just only know that the end of it is going to be exactly what you need so that you can proceed to the next step okay because what's worrying gonna solve it's gonna give you a headache it's gonna stress you out it's gonna call help so we're going to move forward just by simply releasing worry because it holds no power here if anything it destroys your positive energy i'm seeing here for you it says service i feel good when i can help others 
I love that for you. That means you have a, a beautiful heart. You have a caring soul. And you will sometimes overly put others before you. Um, learn to balance this out. But continue to move forward with this um, positive energy that you have. This good loving energy to help others feel good with inside. I feel like a lot of you could be nurses or could do something in the mental health field possibly. You could be therapists or thinking about being a massage therapist or something like that. Whatever it is that you do, you work one-on-one -on -one with people and you be sure to make them feel good. That's a beautiful thing. What you don't see is that you need to release grief. It's the, the statement here is I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. For a lot of you, you could have lost your job. You could have lost... Um, you could have lost a house, you could have lost a friend, you could have lost a lot of things or what you would consider to be as a loss. And Spirit is just saying simply look at it as an opportunity to appreciate the moments that you had to share either with that person or with those items and things and those places and events at that point in time. Now, as far as raising your vibration goes, Spirit is saying that relationships are assignments. A lot of you are sent, are being sent into other people's lives to bring joy to them, just like they are, are coming in to bring certain lessons to you as well. It's about being able to look into the mirror and realizing that um, a lot of the times you are a reflection of the, the company that you keep and there are certain things that you need to learn. Did you learn that dealing with people like this is not your forte? You need to move forward. What is it that you are receiving? But you must know that relationships are assignments. Every, not every one of them are meant to be permanent and long-lasting forever. And that's what you have to work on for a lot of you. Gemini, I heard Gemini. I heard Gemini. Ooh, I heard Gemini. They screamed your name. Pisces, you too. But Gemini, for sure. Um, with raising your vibrations, they're saying feeling fear is a call for love. So if you're fearful of certain things, you need to pour more self-love into yourself. You need to take more time to put that into you. And that is the biggest lie that could ever be told that you must fear anything. Fear nothing and stand up towards it all. At the bottom of the deck, we see living with purpose brings prosperity. So as you move intentionally and, and move with the purpose of knowing that this is what I'm setting out to do, it will bring you in everything that you desire. I plant this seed in my garden so that it can produce fruit for my family so that we can eat. Prosperity. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to book a personal reading, I will put all of that information below in the description box. And you guys have a beautiful day.